Okay. Alright, now we've, we've got our mountain sorted. Blend that a little. Okay, so let's let's get some land in front of here. Maybe there's yeah, there's some trees. Put a bit of, bit of sap green on. In fact, take quite a bit of that and pull that out. There we go. And Prussian blue for our distant one. Let's put some of that there. Quite a bit of Prussian blue. Love this Prussian blue. Blah, blah, blah. Love this Prussian blue colour. Okay, there we are. Mix those together. A bit of a lizard, because why not? Make it a nice warmer colour. Bit of brown as well. Trees have brown in them. Okay. Right. Evergreen. I don't have green in evergreen. Okay, that should do us. So, a lot of paint in them bristles. A lot of paint in there. Okay, let's have a look. Where do we want? Probably going to end up having a couple of trees over here somewhere in the distance. Not leaving it like that. I'll just, just put those there for now. So, as a little reminder to myself. Right, let's get some... There we go. Okay. Let's... There we go. And now, leaving a gap between the mountain and the trees. And that'll give us the illusion of distance in the painting. A bit more leafage down here, like that. Just tapping. Oh, a little more paint, and I'll come over here. And I'm gonna gonna make them a little smaller as I go along. That way. That way. We get an illusion of distance, like its trees are going off. That's why I had a few smaller ones there. So. Let's just, let's, that's about where we're going, somewhere along there. So I'll take some more paint, a bit of Prussian blue as well, love that blue. As we get further back it's going to go a little more blue, so get a bit of a lizard though first, we're not, we're not all the way in the back yet. Make it warmer, closer. Okay, now let's, do, do, do. okay. Make some differentiation between these. Some are tall, some aren't so tall. And it'll pay you to step back and take a look at take a look at your painting every now and then just to just to make sure you're happy with it and just to make sure you you know where you're going with it and you like it. And if not, well, Okay. So we're getting further back now. I'll add a bit more blue than I did last time. Mm, for fun. I'll have a bit of thalo in there as well. See what happens. See what happens. I don't know. Maybe it's going to be blue trees. We'll see. Okay, that's not too bad. That's okay. Turn the brush around, use the paint on that side. Just using this fan brush. Okay, and off into the distance. There we go. Just filling these bottom bits in here. And we don't know where that goes. Right off, right off. Maybe we can make this a little taller here. That way, 
Get a little more freedom. A little more freedom. As we go further along. Uh, while we're back over here, put a bit more crimson in. It's a little closer to us, a bit warmer. Okay. Same general shapey. Same general shapies. Okay, so on the bottom, we'll have that curving like that. So it leads the eye into the painting. That's what we're looking for. Okay. Mm. Little wiggle and we have about got some nice nice trees there. Okay, at the bottom here, I'm just gonna just gonna push up. Same colour. Just get a bit of bit of grass in there. We'll put some highlights on this. Just pushing up. Okay, now I'm going to take a clean, clean fan brush. I uh, will take, what colour shall we use? I'm going to take some white. A little bit of white. And what colour today shall we use? I'm going to use some tree trunks. So, white. Tell you what, just go into a little bit of Van Dyke Brown. Not too much. I think that was a bit too much there. Okay, get some more white again. It's got a little brownish tinge to it. There we go, that's more like it. A bit more. There we are. Lovely, lovely. So, pull it out slowly, wiggle it. A little wiggle. And pull. And then, nice. Nice edge to it. Show you that edge. Okay. And we just touch and pop up. Getting a bit of green in there. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Don't worry. It'll look right. Just at the bottom. Touch. Pull. Probably should have wiped that off a little. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Let it happen. Just let it happen. It's okay. Okay. Now then, over here, we'll go back to our dirty brush. And we'll just have a bigger one. Let's have him... Where is he? There he is. There you see him. And just... Corner of the brush. And there he is. He lives right in your... Right in your fan brush. And he just comes out like that. Wonderful, wonderful. Isn't that nice? You can just pop out there. And he comes down to about, about there. Maybe we can just take a touch of this and just 
Put a little trunk in there somewhere, maybe. Okay. Just to give an indication. Okay. All right, then. Now, we will... We will... Take the two-inch brush again. Take away that darker colour from the blue there. Hide it up there. <laughs> now then. Thalo green. Touch of that. And Thalo blue. Only a little bit of the green. But don't be scared to use some. It's a nice colour. Very nice colour. And we'll just get that into them bristles. It's okay if it's streaky. It'll be nice. See what that looks like. So, coming from the side and horizontal straight across. And higher and higher as you go up. And it's mixing with that magic white, as it should be, and getting lighter and lighter and lighter. And I'm also not pressing as hard while I'm up there. This side. A little more paint. Touch of green there. I like that green colour. It's very pretty. Okay, try that again. And I'm going to leave a little area in the middle here. A little sheen of light. I should have should have put this on before I um, before I put this land in here, but it's okay. We can manage. Probably end up with some green streaks in my water, but we don't mind. It'll be fine. As long as, as long as you keep the lines basically straight, then. Maybe a bit too much there. We can fix it. Don't worry about it. At all. Oh dear. Brad's going crazy. Should be a little darker at the bottom than it is further up. So I'm going to add a little bit more. Just a bit, not too much. Don't want to ruin it. Okay. And da, 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 da. okay then. Let's take this wonderful, soft, delicious, <laughs> delicious blender brush, which I really like. Oh look at that! That's just. I wish you could feel how smooth this feels when you gliding along. It's very nice. So yeah, I can easily blend those bits into the water and they just fade away. Fade away. Soft. I'm, I'm avoiding the bottom at first because then there won't be a lot of paint being picked up by the blender brush. So I'll start in the lighter areas and work my way into the darker ones. Pressing on considerably hard, but not not hard hard. And just pull it across. Wiggle it. Uh, and there's a little bit of a sheen of light there still, so we didn't lose it. I think because this this edge looks a little rough though, we'll put put a bit of land in, maybe. Maybe a bit of uh, Van Dyke brown. Just to bring all that together. Tell you what, before we put the land in, I'll just pull it out for that while I had it. Before we put the land in, 
I get a couple of highlights, but a bit of highlight on this grass. So I'll just get some yellow and I'll go right into the yellow. Take some green. Ruin all the green. <laughs> Ooh, crazy colours. It's very bright. Uh, maybe a little darker. I'm not going to mix it too much so there's a nice variation of colours there. Okay, we'll see what that looks like. Only a few bits of highlights here and there, just so it's not all one colour. So starting at the back, maybe come forwards where the tree line is, it comes down to the edge, like so. Things aren't as detailed as you go further back. It's just a bit, a bit of something. And we'll use just a bit darker, a little bit darker, here and there. Add a few touches to these evergreens, just a few. Just to make it a little more interesting, that's all. Okay, that should be doing it. That should be doing it. And we'll put some highlights on this evergreen. And this one in the front here. Just lights coming from that side, so. Ooh, right over our trunk there. came out a bit too bright so just tap it one or two more times and it'll fade off right into the tree touch a highlight okay a bit more there Here's the, the darker colour. Just want to go back in there and at the bottom of the tree it's a little darker, so just want to make sure we keep that darkness. And these ones in the back here, don't want to leave them out. Put a little bit of shine on them. Bit of sun get into those ones in the back. Maybe a bit here. And just some bits of grass here. A bit brighter than the other places. Mm, colours, just going into any old colours, greens and greens and yellows. Okay. Right now we can now we can get some some of that land I talked about. Oh dear. Have you seen what I've done? Yes. Yay. So when you get a happy accident like this, punch the canvas and it goes all over. And you get a brilliant painting. Maybe it could be a sun. Who knows? Get it all over the wires as well. Just for you. Okay, so I've pulled this out flat. Do it again for you, just so you know how to pull it out flat. Not really, it's just so you can enjoy the sounds. Okay. Nice big hunk of paint there. 
I'll start in the middle, why not? some land in between where the water is and where the grass is okay. don't worry too much about where it's going as long as you get the right angle which is not a right angle Swooping, same, same as the lay of the land, really. Uh, have a little peninsula, maybe there. Who knows? When we put the highlights on, it'll all come together a little better. It'll make more sense to you. See something. I see something in the distance there. You see it as well? Maybe you do. Okay, let's take some of this white and burn tumba. Interesting when it marbles. More white. More white. Oh, the colours. Oh, getting a bit of blue in there. That'll make it fun. More white. There we are. Okay. So take this, pull it, make sure it's flat, and cut across for all the paint, just like the mountains, very soft, on the furrow of the knife, just graze across there, some nice highlights on those rocks, and stones and dirt and stuff, take a little more, just cut across, little roll, show you again. Little roll, little roll, and then come up here and just graze, graze, barely touching, barely touching. There we go. Let's, uh, a little bit here, just cut across again, just like that, all right, and then we'll come over here, carry on, put some highlights on these, 
Ooh, that's a that's a shiny one, isn't it? I like that rock. A little more. little bit of a, just a little bit. See what we can do with this. Mm, no okay. Prussian blue instead. Not a lot, just a touch. Pull that out flat like that. And a bit of burnt umber. See what happens. And put some white with that as well. Oh, we've got a bit of a greyish colour there. A bit more brown in it. Darkish, lightish colour. <laughs> darkish, lightish. I don't know what that means. It means that. That's a darkish, lightish colour at the same time. And just a bit. It's only for this little area down here, but I don't think we'll be able to tell the difference. I can't. No, it needs to be darker. Just a touch. Very far away, don't need too much detail there. And I'll just... Can you tell what it is yet? Got some magic right here, using this palette while uh, there's a little more room to just get some white on the brush. Okay, so that's very thin white. Now, here we go, and a little waterfall, just a little one, that's it, that's all we need, goes off into the distance, we don't know why, we don't know, and tidy that up a touch, grass on the side there. Okay, and just come back over to this one. Take a bit of the yellow and the green. Sap green, cad yellow. Okay, a bit more maybe. Touch of yellow as well. A bit more, a bit more green and yellow. Try and get it marbly. Ish. <laughs> Close enough. Is that too bright? Well, let's find out. Just bring these edges together. Maybe, maybe some of the grass is growing onto the rocks. You don't know. Maybe it comes out. Oh, there we go. Okay, so. Just a touch of the liquid white. I already had some there, I should have used that. It's too late now. Okay. And what do you think? Maybe a bit darker. A bit darker. Nope, not, not dark at all. Let's wipe some of that off. Touch of that. Sneak in here. And we'll just... Okay, grass there. 
bit here. Some grass going up to the water. A bit here. Bit of highlight on that. Bit of highlight on that. And there we go. Okay. Water lines. Some magic white, pull it out flat. I'm just gonna, and there's a little roll on top, and we just go into the canvas. Um, just press in, and just like so, basically straight. Don't worry about hurting that canvas. You'll be fine. Some separators there. Make sure we keep them straightish. Even if you're coming on a curve like this, keeping them basically straight. A bit murky that water there. That's good, that's what we want. Uh, don't know where I'm <laughs> don't know where I'm going here. small edge for this bit. Pull it out flat. Get a little more and we'll do these bits now. Maybe maybe there's one here. straight. It'll be fine. Just one out in there. Go back up to here, getting carried away with water lines everywhere. Just not really putting water lines, I'm just, just smoothing that out a little. This is a bit dark here for my liking. Just brighten that up. Bit of contrast there. Bit of contrast. Let's see. There we go. Okay. lonely. Now comes a point when you stop piddling and and it isn't yet. <laughs> Rad loves to carry on. Just correcting little bits. And... All right now then this isn't how I'd normally do it. I'm just going to grab a little bit of the blue and the green I'm just going to cheat and put a touch, very gentle touch, like that, 
Just so, gives it a little more character. There we are. It's going to hold the water in, so it needs to be higher than the water. Touch highlight. Just the same colour we were using before. If I can. Oh, that's shiny, isn't it? Well, happy accidents. Okay, um, let's see if we can use this crazy colour, what we tried. should do us nicely. Is there still some white on this? Where's my white? Where's my white? Okay. Just a bit of action going on at the bottom of this. Got a little, little bit of paint thinner on the liner brush. Just going into this dark colour here. Turn the brush. Turn it. Take my gloves off for this one. It's easier to turn the brush like that. Let's have in the sky up here. I see. Little bird. that isn't complete yet <laughs> and let's see what do you reckon maybe i think i'll leave it like that in case i ruin everything yes that's nice hi again this is bradley and i just want to show you painting ended up. I didn't ruin it. Just just so you know it looks very nice now. Look at this beautiful waterfall going on down here. Lovely. Uh, see the nice light of the rock. It just came to me. I was looking at it as it was before this and I thought maybe I'd want like some land here. So with the, with the light up light bits on the outside just to give it shape and definition and just the way it falls down uh, and I think I think it ties the whole picture together quite nicely. Uh, the first thing I, I did was get the perspective uh, across the road to just sort of you see that angle of my fingers are running. Just sort of matches the whole Nice. 
that's what I added when the camera wasn't on. <sighs> Lots of flowing stuff going on. I'm trying my best to put the rest of the, uh, the, rest of the paint in there. So I'm, I'm pleased with that anyway, I like how it's turned out. I hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching, thanks for continuing to watch my videos. I hope you're enjoying the sounds of the birds outside. Very pleasant. And I think I hear an aeroplane as well. Very calming. It's ASMR day today. I'm recording this particular video. So I hope you have a happy ASMR day. I hope it's full of tingles for you and indeed the year to come. So with that said, uh, relax, sleep well, whatever it is, you know, have a, have a nice time. Okay, bye-bye. Have a nice time. Put that back in. No problem. We can do that. <laughs>